Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Chris Thal. I'm with MGM Ford Lincoln Sales here in Red Deer, Alberta. I've been with the organization for eight years. And we have the awesome new 2013 Escape. Where do I start? So many changes. Completely new design. Very sleek and kinetic flowing on it. Uh, as you can see by the hood, it's sloped angle-wise for aerodynamics. Your headlights are swept back. Much bolder in the front design. Uh, you want to come over here, I'll, one of the first things I'll point out too that we like to show you, uh, this has got the 1.6 liter in it, so in behind here, if you come down here, I don't know if you can get in here to see this, but this one has got the active grill shutters. Uh, the shutters themselves will actually open and close according to aerodynamics as well as temperature in that, so in the winter time it will help it warm up a little bit quicker. Again, it helps deflect the air where it needs to go underneath. I popped the hood to show you the 1.6 liter here. The hood release too is on the left hand side above the headlight, so it's hidden over a little bit. I'll just like to point that out. Of course, with the uh, Ford, everything is marked in yellow, makes it easy to stand out. Awesome fuel mileage, and this is uh, rated to a six speed transmission. This has got the E-Pass system. What that is is electric power assisted steering now too. Uh, it's going to be very light and easy to steer uh, in town. And uh, it gives you a little stiffer and better feel for it when it's on the highway. Next thing I can point out as well uh, is that it does have the like, torque vectoring control. So when you go around the corner, it's going to help you pull around the corner a little bit better that way. As well as traction control for stability and stuff for the winter time in the roads that way. Uh, and uh, horsepower on this is rated for 178 horsepower. Uh, lots of get up and go. Turn around to the side here. We've got 17 inch aluminum wheels. This is the SE model. Nice chrome accents as well on the side here polymer material on the bottom which is going to take the rocks and the snow a little bit better and these mirrors themselves too. Um, they are a breakaway if someone comes along and bumps you or anything on them. And uh, actually I'll show you here too inside the mirror. If you want to pop around the side. Uh, we've got a little blind spot mirror that's going to help uh, get in and out of traffic a little bit better that way. You know. On the side here, we've got our keyless entry system. This is exclusive to Ford. Uh, RAV4 CRV doesn't have this. Lights up as you brush your finger along and you can punch in a code to enter and access the vehicle. Uh, of course, you could just use the key too. Everything is uh, built into the key. It is a chip key for security and stuff. And of course, the handles are designed for winter. Gloves, mitts, anything can open it up there to make it easier access for the winter time. Got roof rails on the side too for any luggage you might be taking on a trip at all. And then you've got your privacy glass as well. Keep stuff hidden in the back. Keep the kids nice and cool and stuff with the sunshine that way. Uh, you do have the child locks if you do need that way if it's a family for a use vehicle. They've uh, changed the material inside for the seats and I'll go through that in here in a little bit. Again, we've got the sleek kinetic design coming through to the back. Uh, it is independent suspension for the ride and stuff, so you get nice handling, cornering ability that way. Privacy glass runs through into the back, and then uh, I pop the back hatch here. This one does have the rear cargo package on it, so you get your privacy cover here. Pull it back, cover any gifts and stuff that you might have hidden away. And that's easily removed too if you do need the whole room there. I can go through that afterwards. And then uh, nice dual tipped exhaust. That's something that they've added over the previous escape as well. That way. Point out our capless fuel system here. A couple benefits with the capless fuel system. One, of course, is the convenience. You don't have to worry about putting the gas cap back on or someone else. Uh, forgetting to put it on if you're at a full service station. But another benefit of this, of course, too, is for the environment. Uh, the minute you remove the nozzle, it's going to shut off the fumes so you don't breathe them as well as, um, you know, it don't emit any uh, vapors into the atmosphere that way. Only the correct nozzle is going to go in there and stuff as well. So 
nice little convenience, easy factor that way. Uh, braking on it is front and back disc brakes suit, uh, so it'll give you good balancing and good stopping ability within it. Uh, if we point out on the window sticker here too, if you are looking around, everything about the vehicle usually is within the window sticker. Uh, got your engine size and stuff up here. The big thing I want to point out that I hope shows up here is your fuel mileage. Um, you've got 31 city miles per gallon or 9.2 liters per 100 kilometers for city and then for highway it's 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers and 43 miles to the gallon highway. That's phenomenal. Um, 1.6 liter with the power that it has too, 178. It actually gets up and goes moves really really well that way. So that's kind of the main outside factor there. What I'll do is I'll take you inside the vehicle, show you a few other features and stuff inside. Looking at the back of the Escape here, as you can see, new patterns on the seat, new material. Uh, Ford actually did a global um, comfort, I guess. You know, they tested a lot of different individuals and stuff to make sure that the seats are comfortable. The material within the front back seats too, they're a soy-based material, so it's uh, recyclable. Um, and uh, it's very, very comfortable over what the previous escapes have done. Great thing on the, the rear part of the escape that they've carried over versus the seats do fold. Uh, one quick handle here. Once I press uh, the button here, the headrests pop instead of having to remove them, they pop down now. And then I can lower it and flip it forward, and there you go. Lots of extra storage space. The other side, the single side here, too. You can almost do it from this side, push the button, flip the headrest, flip the handle, and down it goes. And you've got a nice big storage surface area for camping gear, you know, maybe the, the pet's cage, whatever you need it that way. Lots of room, and it folds up just as easy. One, two, and I can do the other one here as well. Nice and easy. Uh, I'd like to point out in the back here too, that they've added a 110, 150 watt power outlet. So if you want to run a laptop or something in the back here, a kid's got a game or something you want to plug in, they can do that now too. And underneath here, just like to point out, they added this little extra storage. That's something the previous Escape did not have too. So I want to hide a few little hidden things away there. Don't even know it's there without even looking. So simple and easy. I'll uh, get to the front here next. To the interior of the new 2013 Escape, the technology in here is phenomenal, very user friendly. Again, I'll just point out the key, everything, your lock and unlock is in there, and when I go to start it, it's just a quick click, and it'll crank the rest itself and fire up. I don't even know if you could hear it starting there, but super quiet. The refinement in the new Escape is phenomenal that way. Uh, let's start from the left of the instrument here, and then work over to the My Touch system, and then the storage within the vehicle that way. So looking at the gauges here, hopefully you can see all of that. Uh, we've got full gauges, tack, of course, speedometer, fuel, temperature, but you've also got this information screen here. Uh, if I start at the top here, of course, you got trip one, and then you can you know, find out how many kilometers till empty. You've got your timer if you want, average fuel economy, all that kind of good stuff. You get, of course, trip two as well, uh, same kind of features, average distance to empty, all that kind of good stuff. And then you've got other general information that you can go in here and see the how the intelligent four-wheel drive system is working, and then the My Key too. Uh, this is a great uh, parental control feature. Uh, with the key, you can program uh, again, give it to a, a student or your son or maybe even a fellow coworker, and it will limit the maximum speed the vehicle can drive. Uh, if they don't put their seatbelt on, none of the safety or sorry, none of the um, Radio stuff works, traction control can't be shut off, so it's a good parental control or, um, you know, loaner type thing. Uh, if I go into other items here, of course you've got your outside temperature, your compass all listed in here as well, and it's all easy access right from your thumb. So as you're driving, if you need to glance down, it's quick little presses and that's it. You can still keep your eyes on the road that way. Of course you've got cruise control built in, again very easy access, can do it with one quick touch of the finger that way. And on the other side you've got your volume for your radio, of course your memory stations that way, and then we've got the sync system here which I'll go through in a little bit more detail here afterwards. Uh, what the sync system is, actually I might as well just go through it now, is um, your Bluetooth 
accessibility to your phone. It does a few other things as well. Uh, what it does do is when its phone is paired to the vehicle, makes it all hands free, you can make calls uh, without ever picking up your phone, especially with the way the regulation and stuff is right now, uh, make it easy access that way. Uh, you can also voice activate other features within the vehicle uh, as a Getting back to the sync system, some of the safety stuff that comes with it too is the um, post-crash alert system. Uh, if you have an accident and an airbag goes off, um, it'll dial 911 for you, provided the, the phone and the system is still working there. And You know your lights are going to flash, your horn is going to go off if you're in a ditch or something so someone can lo locate you. So very, very safe that way. Uh, getting to some of the other safety systems too, you know, you've got the occupation classification technology. What that is is to depending on how hard the collision is will determine how hard the airbags are deployed. This also has the, the new knee airbag that's going to deploy for you as well. You know, help protect any part of the vehicle. And um, with the airbag too, they kind of redesigned it too to kind of have a, a, a fitting to it so it deploys um, better for keeping you safe. Um, getting into the MyTouch system here. Uh, it's broken basically into four different quadrants. Uh, your top one, your left one in the yellow here, which is for your phone. You've got your green up in the top, which is your general information, and that's where navigation is if it comes with navigation. The red is for your entertainment, and the blue is the climate. So it's a simple touch screen. If I want to touch the red, it's going to bring up items on my radio. The radio is going to turn on. You've got AM, FM stations. Uh, you've got Cirrus satellite radio built in, free for six months that way, and uh, you can preset a bunch of different stations in there, so you don't have to be, you know, going from one station to another. You can also voice activate that stuff too with the My Touch system, very very easily that way. If I go back to the home button that's at the bottom here, that's going to bring me back to my four screens there. I'm going to bring up the climate screen, which is the blue, and it'll bring up everything about your climate. So you can do the climate through the My Touch, you can do the climate through your touch here, and you can do climate through voice as well. Uh, just to demonstrate, say, one of the voice commands that I can do is I'll just go ahead and hit it. Please say a command. Climate. Climate. Say a command. Set temperature 19 degrees. Did you say 19 degrees? Yes. Setting temperature to 19 degrees. So there we go. So I could do it by voice too if I don't want to reach over. Just simple, carry on my drive and just do it by voice that way. Um, you can increase, decrease your fan. Um, it will recognize up to about 10,000 voice commands. It's quite phenomenal and very user friendly. If I go back to the home screen again here, uh, there's no phone connected, but if I did uh, bring up the menu here, it's going to try and connect. It's just going to say add a phone right now and it'll give me a, a number to pair to a phone. But there's nothing in there right now to pair. Um, it'll come up with a whole number uh, system just like your phone if you wanted to dial. Very simple, easy to use that way. Go back to my home screen again. Uh, you can tune of course just with the little buttons that are on here as well. Seek, do your sound as well here. And um, shut the radio on or off or anything that way as well. Uh, this particular unit too with the package it has has the dual electronic automatic temperature control uh, which is great. You used to only be able to get that in the limited in the escapes. Now you can get it in this package as well as, a, as an optional package. And uh, the heated seats. This has got cloth seats but if you notice down here it does have heated seats and instead of just being on or off or high and low position you can actually dial it now from 1 to 5. So again more comfort that way uh, easier to use. There's a 12 volt system here as well that you can plug stuff into and they now have added, if you notice on the shifter here, the S uh, and that's for sport mode or for you know a little more fun driving. Uh, you can put it into S mode and there's a plus and minus on the shifter here. You can shift it yourself if you so desire and be a little sportier. Uh, great thing that they have brought into the escapes now too is the tilt and telescopic steering, that's something that the previous didn't have. Again, make it comfortable, make it better for all types of users that way. And they really have done a good job with that. Um, 
underneath here too, just to bring into your storage. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, you've got audio video in too, so if you want you could play on here, of course not when you're driving. Uh, you've got an SD card and you've got two USBs as well, so if you want to plug in any music, voice activate the USB, you can do that as well. Makes it very user friendly. A uh, little place in the top here too, just to clip uh, USB sticks or cards or anything that you want that way as well. So there is a quick summary of uh, the 2013 four-wheel drive escape with the intelligent four-wheel drive. Um, any questions, you know, give me a shout at the dealership here. We'll certainly go through it with you or find you what you're looking for. Thanks for coming and visiting us.